Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top 10 drugstore favorites. If you're looking for affordable drugstore makeup, this is a makeup you should try out. You know, it's not for everyone sometimes, but it works for me and I could not live without these products. And all the products that I will be mentioning, they are under $10, which is awesome. I tried to find my favorite affordable products that you can try out and that are under $10. So if you guys want to see my affordable top 10 favorites, favorites under $10 drugstore makeup then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with primer. My favorite primer is the Wet n Wild primer and I am so out of it. I keep squeezing until I have no more and I'm basically there like this is paper thin. I just used my professional that I bought. Hated it. Made me oily and then I went back to this one because I haven't been using it because I have so little like it's hard to get product out and I just haven't been able to go to the drugstore and buy more. I love this one so much more. It works for my dry skin. I'm not sure how it works on oily skin, but this honestly blurs lines. It just makes my makeup last all day and it does not make me get oily. Surprisingly, I do get oily in my T-zone even though I am dry skin. I'm kind of like combination. Whenever my skin wants to be oily or dry, it just chooses to and then I never know what products officially to put on. But I always go back to this one and this makes my makeup last so much longer. And the Wet n Wild is $4.68, so like $5. Moving on to another primer slash setting spray is this Milani Make It Last. I love this spray. I currently broke mine. So I haven't been able to finish it. I was using it on my sister and I dropped it and the little white cap that goes in came out. So now it just comes out like a freaking geyser. Yeah. So I haven't been able to use it. This is such a great affordable setting spray and you can use it as a primer. It does make your makeup last. It sets it. It's not too like sticky. It doesn't feel like you just sprayed a ton of water on your face. It does have a fine mist. That's what I love about it until I broke mine and mine's not so fine anymore. I need to buy a new one so I can use it because I always reach for this guy and it is super great. On a day to day when I don't want to use my Urban Decay setting spray when I'm just going to work, I love using this one. It's just so affordable. Again, it is under $10 and this one retails for $9.99. I'm pretty sure I found it cheaper somewhere. I just don't remember and this was $9.99 at Target. Next product is another Wet n Wild product and it is their Photo Focus Foundation. This foundation covers so well, it does not give you flashback and it just gives you a nice even full coverage if you want. You can build it up to that and I love it. This is the color Soft Beige. I have not been able to wear it because I got tanner so I need to go and get a color that matches me now but this one in the winter I used every day. Like it's such a great everyday foundation. It's not heavy on the face and I love it. It's just perfect for an everyday use. You won't get tired of it, I promise. And this foundation retails for $4.68 as well. If you guys wanna try out a great foundation from the drugstore, try out the Wet n Wild. Continuing on with some face products, my next one is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. This concealer, hydrates my under eyes so well and it leaves them looking so flawless and the product is not that thick and it gives you so much coverage. I think that's why I like it, that it's not thick and I don't feel it heavy underneath my eyes because the last thing that I want with dry under eyes is a heavy product on top. And this one works wonders. This retails for $8.99 and this is in the color 01. I did see that they don't have a lot of color selections, so I tried the lightest one, and the lightest one is still kinda dark to me. I like a lighter concealer underneath my eyes, so it gives some brightness. At the moment, it's not as bright as I want it, because I am a little tanner, but this is a great concealer if you're looking for one for dry under eyes like I have, that's my problem. I love this concealer. Another concealer that I've constantly been using and I'm so glad I discovered it was the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. It says it's waterproof. I don't know if it's waterproof, but this sucker works great. And I know this is $9. And this is in the color Light Warm. This is a thicker concealer than the Pro Glow. It's not as thick as the Tarte Shape Tape, which I love because the Tarte Shape Tape was just getting too dry underneath my eyes. And this one has not dried me out. And I love it. And it's literally full coverage concealer. And it's not as thick as the Tarte Shape Tape. And not as expensive either. 
So if you guys want to try this out, literally give it a shot. It works wonders. And they have a great color uh, selection. And they have different types of undertones. That's what I like because I was able to get a yellow undertone concealer, which is normally hard for me to find. They're usually towards the pink tone. And I am not pink whatsoever. So I love this concealer. The next product is Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I have currently worn out the label. But this product is just magic. It's so inexpensive and sets my makeup, makes it last all day. I notice a difference when I use this product and just any other powder that I use. I've used this in high school and I tried, I decided to try it out again because I remember I loved it and I just ran out of it. And I don't know for what reason, I never bought it again. I went to go buy it recently, well not recently, a while ago and I love it. It just, if you're looking for an affordable powder to set your makeup, use this one. And it doesn't give you some nasty like film. It's not chalky. It's great. It doesn't give you flashback at all because you know sometimes when I wear my Laura Mercier, I feel like it gives me flashback on my face. This one does not and this is in the color Nude Beige. There's not a lot of color selections with this. I think there's like maybe three shades. But I know they do have a translucent one or it claims to be translucent setting powder. So try this out. And this retails for $3.97. So if you ever want to find a good affordable setting powder, try this out. The next product is brows and I think you know what it is. It's a brow pencil and this is the LA Girls Shady Slim Brow Pencil. My color is brunette and I love this. This is my third, my third, yes, my third brow pencil. I honestly, truly love it. So affordable. It literally reminds me of the Anastasia one because Anastasia does not give so much pigment it gives the right amount and this one does the same thing it brings a spoolie on the side i feel like if a brow pencil does not bring a spoolie i'm like what is that because i need it i switch back and forth every single time this makes my eyebrow application so much easier this is 5.99 at ulta you can find these they don't have these at regular drugstores but i know at ulta they do every time i go there's only ever one brunette left like there's always a bunch of the other colors but always one brunette and I always pick it up every time I go because I cannot live without this. I remember one time I was on my way to work and my pencil ran out. Thankfully, for some reason, I was like, let me bring my eyebrow powder just in case I want to fill in a little bit more the ends of my brows. I ran out of it. I'm like, what? Like God was talking to me, telling me to bring that brow powder because I almost died when I didn't have this anymore. And then I ran it that day right after work. I went and bought another one. I love this pencil. So, so good and so affordable. The next item is another LA Girl product and it is their LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. This is in the color 50 Watt. This is an amazing highlight. So affordable. It is $7.99 and look at that highlight. Like, come on works so well and this one is amazing i haven't found another drugstore highlight that i love uh, on it like honestly i've tried elf i've tried wet and wild the one i do want to try is the milani chrome one that i see it everywhere that everyone says it's so good but i have not found it yet but this one works wonders this reminds me of kind of like a becca highlight just because of the tone of it and this is just a great highlight for the price I cannot go wrong with this highlight. The next product is mascara and it is currently still in here because as you saw my declutter video, I'm trying to use all the mascaras that are already open before I open new ones. So this one is still sitting in its little packaging and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous. This is the original one. I didn't know they had like other, like four times the volume, two times the volume. And then this one's like five times. I'm like, what? Is there a difference between two, five, and four? Like, I don't understand. But this is the original one. This is the one, the like OG one. I love it. I get mine in the blackest black. It does add volume to my lashes. I notice the difference when I use this. I don't have to put as many coats as other mascaras that I've used in the past. And two coats with this, I am solid and I'm good. This retails for $5.89 at Target. And you can get it at Walmart for $5.84. Same thing. 
just an all-time OG mascara that you can never go wrong with. They do have waterproof and stuff. I've never tried the waterproof. I honestly don't like waterproof mascara. It's just impossible to take off for me and I don't got time for that. So the original one is the one that I love. I know they just came out with a new one. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous as well, but it's another title that they add to it. And I heard that one works very well and I have not got my hands on it. And honestly, I just haven't been looking for that one. I just hear that it's good. So I wanted to try it out, but this one, the OG one, my favorite forever. I've bought in so many of these. I've lost count and the last product is a wet and wild product and I knew I had to throw in some shadows if you want a good palette that is going to give you the colors that are basic natural colors it is this palette right here this is the El Naturel palette from wet and wild and this sucker just is a beautiful color range you have your black and you have your lightest shade and you got some shimmers in there you got your mattes it's a great on-the-go palette I love this I love this for traveling because it's so compact and it has everything that I need in it I love these shades they're so creamy which I don't understand it's so affordable and yet so like great colors and like Come on, one swatch, okay? These are great shadows. I love them. I've never had a problem with them. They blend really easy and nice. If you want an affordable drugstore palette, reach for this one. This retails for $5.62 in the drugstore at Walmart. I did a one brand tutorial using this palette and I really do like it. It works wonders. And I've never been a fan of like CoverGirl shadows or like L'Oreal shadows. I just think they're way too expensive for like one shadow when Wet n Wild gives you a whole palette and it's like 10 times better. So that is it for my top 10 under 10 drugstore products. I hope you guys enjoy this video. These are honestly my favorite types of products to use constantly. They're very good everyday products. I will have all the links to the, all the products that I mentioned down below, of course. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.